everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Wixology Bite Size. Uh, this one is probably going to be our final uh, one on the mobile editor. Again, if you do think there's something that you'd like me to cover specifically on the mobile editor, then please give me a shout. And remember, if you're enjoying the series, then please turn on those uh, bell notifications and subscribe. So um, in this episode, and um, we did touch on it last time, I think we'll have a little look at how to kind of add elements, why you might be wanting to add elements as well. So um, if we look at this version, so if I wish to perhaps have different wording on here for whatever reason, um, that would perhaps be a little unusual, but it's probably a good example for, for our needs here today. So if I wish to, I can't actually, if I click on this text, I can't edit it. So. Um, I click on it, it opens this up, but there's no editor at all. But I could hide it. Now, chances are, see, it's hidden the whole the whole thing there. So if I show this again, probably going to be easier. Sometimes you'll get this or it might sort of hide the slideshow. I don't want to do that. Look, so I'm just going to grab all of the text here and I should be able to hide that text. No, it's doing the same again. Hang on. Let me just pop that text there. I've got it clearly hidden there. there yeah, and it's just hidden the one set of text. Sometimes you might need to play about with that and it's kept our slideshow there. So in this instance, um, I want to add some text. So I'm going to add some text here. Uh, obviously, I want the text. Uh, and obviously here now, look, I do get design elements. So um, I can change the color. Uh, I think I need to slightly take this down. Um, I want it to be center justified and yeah, just going to change it to wow. There we go. Okay. So, um, so I've changed my text here, uh, and you can see how to do that. So add it and I get more control, uh, the same perhaps with the donate button. I might feel that on the mobile, I want this button to be, um, perhaps a different color, um, perhaps have curvier edges. Um, Again, if I come in here, look at this, I'm very limited to what I can do with this button, um, but I could hide the button. So there we go. I've hidden the button um, and I might decide to add another button. So um, I come here and um, let's go for this nice one here. Again, look, I can change the, uh, the color scheme on here. So I might go for this nice yellow color here. Okay, so you get the idea. So I can um, come in and do some design elements. So you might think, what have you actually got in here? So you are fairly limited. We've got text we can add. Um, we've got images we can add. Uh, we've got buttons we can add. We can add some, uh, some basic shapes and some vector art. Um, we can add boxes on here. We can add our social elements, which would probably be quite rare because often I'm using the quick action button, but there may be times when you do. Um, and you may wish to have some sort of functionality where you're in putting some embed code specifically on the mobile, which you're not doing um, on the on the editor. So that gives you a bit of an idea. As I say, um, I can't think of any time, or I've actually I've had a couple of, uh, designs where um, things work well on a desktop, they don't work so well on a mobile. So I'm hiding things in mobile and then just bringing in a few different styles of elements. Um, remember, whatever you design on the desktop will come through to a mobile. You can hide certain elements. Whatever you put on here does not go up to the desktop. So you'll notice if I go um, to the desktop version here, it's still got the same the same button and the same information. If I wanted to change it on here for the mobile, I could, but then it would reflect in both places. Okay, so hopefully that's given you some ideas on how you can add elements um, within your mobile design editor. I think that does finish. We've covered all 
uh, just about everything I can think of on the mobile editor. But like I said at the start, if there's something uh, you need help with specifically, then just shout out um, and I'll try and explain, send a, sh a short, um, uh, perhaps a, do a short extra video. Uh, okay, everyone, have a great week and I'll look forward to seeing you next week when we'll dig into something else. Take care now. Bye.